Welcome back to the Lost Book of Herbal Remedies, the podcast where we explore the latest in health research and natural remedies. I'm Ali. And I'm Emma. Today, we're diving into some groundbreaking research on the P16 protein and its potential to revolutionize cancer diagnosis and treatment. This protein could be a game changer in oncology, and we can't wait to unpack it all for you. The P16 protein, also known as P16-FIT, Inc. 4A, plays a crucial role in regulating the cell cycle. Essentially, it acts as a tumor suppressor, preventing cells from dividing uncontrollably. Exactly, Alex. The P16 protein is encoded by the CDKN2A gene and functions as an inhibitor of cyclin-dependent kinases. These are key players in the progression of cells from the G1 phase to the S phase of the cell cycle. By halting cell division, P16 helps maintain genomic stability and prevents the onset of cancer. But what makes this protein even more fascinating is its dual nature. Researchers from the University of Otago, Christchurch, have discovered that P16 can undergo dramatic structural changes, transitioning to an amyloid state that impairs its function. This finding was spearheaded by PhD student Sarah Heath and Dr. Christoph Goebel. This transition is a big deal. In its native state, P16 protects against cancer, but when it shifts to the amyloid state, it loses this protective capability, enabling cancer cells to proliferate unchecked. And here's the kicker. It appears this transition is reversible. Imagine the therapeutic possibilities if we can control this switch. That's incredible. If we can stabilize P16 in its healthy, functional state, we could potentially halt the progression of certain cancers linked to P16 dysregulation. And understanding how external factors contribute to this transition might guide the development of diagnostic tools that identify cancer based on P16's structural state. Speaking of external factors, let's talk about sodium valproate, or VPA. This histone deacetylase inhibitor has shown effects on the expression of P16-4A, particularly in cervical cancer. A study published in Oncology Letters indicates that VPA can downregulate p 16 the inc 4 a expression while simultaneously upregulating p 21 thwaf one sip one another cyclin-dependent kinase inhibitor. That's a complex interaction. VPA treatment leads to a decrease in P6-TI-INC4A mRNA levels in HeLa cervical cancer cells, suggesting it may promote oncogenic activity by suppressing this critical tumor suppressor. But the increase in P21-WAF1-CYP1 levels indicates a potential compensatory mechanism to counteract the loss of P16 function. This interplay highlights the complexity of cancer biology. And it's not just modern medicine that's getting in on the action. Traditional Chinese medicine, like Shenling Baiju decoction, is showing promise in treating conditions related to P16 dynamics. Shenling Baiju decoction, or SLBZD, targets the gut microbiota and galactose metabolism, potentially affecting the expression of senescence-associated proteins such as P16. It not only remodels the gut microbiota, but also enhances the homing of endogenous bone marrow mesenchymal stem cells to the colonic mucosa, which is crucial for repairing damaged tissues. That's fascinating, Alex. By targeting the gut microbiome and metabolic pathways, SLBZD may indirectly modulate P16 levels, providing a holistic approach to managing cancer and its associated complications. This is a great example of how traditional and modern medicine can work together to provide innovative solutions. Speaking of traditional remedies, let's shift gears a bit and talk about some herbal formulas from the Lost Book of Herbal Remedies by Herbal Bloom that could complement these scientific findings. Absolutely. As research into the P16 protein reveals its crucial role in cancer therapies, integrating herbal medicine offers a complementary approach. These herbal formulas provide bioactive compounds that support cellular health, modulate oxidative stress, and promote the expression of tumor-suppressing proteins. One standout herb is ginkgo biloba. It contains flavonoids and terpenoids that enhance circulation and cellular health. These compounds can support the distribution and efficacy of P16 at the cellular level and mitigate oxidative stress, which is a factor in the amyloid transition of P16. Another powerful herb is Schisandra chinensis, also known as five-flavor berry. Schisandra enhances liver function and promotes detoxification, maintaining a healthy cellular environment. By supporting liver health, it indirectly contributes to the stability of P16 and prevents its degradation. Rhodiola rosea is known for its adaptogenic properties, 
which enhance the body's stress response and reduce inflammation. Its potential to improve DNA repair and cellular resilience can support the native functionality of P16, preventing its amyloid transition. Let's not forget Astragalus membranasus, renowned for its immune-boosting properties. It activates telomerase activity, supporting genomic stability and maintaining the integrity of the P16 protein's tumor-suppressing functions. Bacopa monieri, or Brahmi, has neuroprotective and cognitive-enhancing effects. Its antioxidant and anti-inflammatory properties support neural health and may play a role in regulating protein structures, including preventing the amyloid transition of proteins like P16. Curcumin, from turmeric, is another essential inclusion. With its strong anti-inflammatory and antioxidant properties, it specifically targets P16 regulation, making it a valuable component in maintaining P16 functionality. Finally, epigallocatechin gallate, or EGCG, from green tea, plays a crucial role in DNA repair and apoptosis. Its antioxidant properties help maintain P16 functionality, making it a significant addition to any herbal formula targeting cancer pathways. When developing these advanced herbal formulas, it's essential to consider the synergistic effects of these herbs to ensure they work in concert to support P16 functionality. Proper dosing and enhancing bioavailability through formulation techniques are critical to achieving therapeutic effects while minimizing potential toxicity. The new insights into P16 protein dynamics present exciting possibilities for advancing cancer diagnosis and treatment. Combining traditional and modern approaches could pave the way for innovative cancer care strategies. That wraps up our episode on the P16 protein and its potential in cancer therapy. We hope you found this exploration both informative and inspiring. Be sure to check out the full article for more details and stay tuned for our next episode. Thanks for joining us. If you enjoyed this episode, please subscribe, rate, and review our podcast. And don't forget to follow us on social media for the latest updates. Until next time, stay healthy and curious.